Hi guys, Paul Pluter on the Paul Pluter channel and today I'm doing a paid review and uh, I'm just quick, 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 quick wrist watch check there. I was, uh, I was just wearing the, uh, the Breitling and I decided to change over to the Bregster. I think I'll put the Bregster on for this review. I like to change watches during the day. Hey, that's why I have more than one. Okay, here we go guys. This here is for Noel. Hi Arch, love your channel, so keep up the good work. Sending you $50 for a paid review of my collection. At the moment I have six watches in my collection and I would like to know what you think of it and what you think my next watch should be. A little about me. I'm 34 years old and love classic iconic watches with history. Though whose style has stood up to the test of time. I'd like to make my collection as well-rounded as possible with a little bit of everything. I want to make sure I have something to fit any occasion or mood. My first watch was a Rolex GMT 2 116710 LN, given to me by my wife in 2012 as an engagement gift. What a cool woman. Why don't I get a woman like that? I started to really expand my collection in the past couple of years and in addition to the GMT, this is my collection now in order of purchase. Tudor Pelagos. I love what Tudor is doing now and find this is a throwback to the Snowflake Submariner. I love its heritage roots yet original design. I think it's a modern classic. Omega Speedmaster, first Omega in space. I contemplated getting this or the professional, but a good deal for this came up and I figure I could get the professional any time later. And there's nothing wrong with that. You've got to seize the opportunity at the time. If there's a good deal on one, you grab it. Grab it with both hands. Rolex. Daytona Ceramic, undoubtedly the highlight of my collection. Rolex took their time to update the Daytona and it was worth the wait. The ceramic bezel and contrasting white and black dial and subdials is striking. Tag Heuer Ortavia. This one is a bit of a trendy choice with the vintage look and faux patina. But vintage Hoyas really appeal to me, even though I hate Tag Hoya and would never buy one with the tag on the dial. Tudor Black Bay ETA. This is a watch I really wanted, especially when they replaced it with the in-house model so quickly. So when one of these popped up for sale, I had to take it knowing that it will be harder and harder to get these. So that's my six piece collection and I'm thinking of what to get next. I'm considering getting an Omega Speedmaster Professional, a Rolex Submariner Hulk or a PAM 233. Or is there something else I should consider? Let me know what you think. I can't wait to hear your thoughts. Keep up the good work. No. Okay, no. Very interesting indeed. What a collection. GMT Master 2. You've got a Tudor Pelagos, Amiga Speedmaster, first, first Amiga in space, 
a Daytona, Tag Hoyer or Tavia, Shooter Black Bay. Man, you are hitting so many home runs with this collection. It ain't funny. Um, you've got some absolute stunners. I really do love the uh, the start of the collection with the GMT. That's uh, beautiful, beautiful. The black, black, black GMT. The Tudor Palagos. Yes, I, I didn't like the Palagos. But um, I, I am actually warming to it. I think the Palagos has got... It's got real style there. And uh, let me say, you know, I... I've, uh, I've recently, I've dr drunk the, uh, the Tudor Kool-Aid, uh, when, when I got the, um, the Tudor Black Bay Heritage myself. This is with the in-house movement. Uh, absolutely love my Tudors. Tudor, Tudor is such, just such a amazing brand there. I do love them. Um, what do I think? You've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six watches. Now, the next piece, this is going to be interesting, because you are a bit Rolex heavy. We've got the, the GMT, the Daytona. GMT and the Daytona. Not to mention, we've got two Tudors, which is a sister company of Rolex. You know, I I would probably, I would probably, I would say to you, it depends what needs you want. I don't know if you need a subby. I don't think you need an Amiga Speedmaster Professional. I think the first Amiga in space is beautiful. I I um, I mean, I've got the Professional. I've got the Professional, and I I don't think you need to double it up there's nothing wrong you go for either you, you, you know what i mean first amiga in space i love that model it's beautiful if i had one i wouldn't be needing to get a professional as well i i i think you have one or the other i reckon for you something completely different i'd, I'd throw in a, a grand reverso reverso grand okay big size not these pissy ones big size grand Reverso Grand, or maybe a Reverso Tribute to 1931. That would be a very cool watch. Um, the other option is, I'd, I'd like to see you maybe throw in a, um, an IWC. Problem with IWC is I, I wouldn't be recommending the ETA type movements one. I'd really want in house, and the in house ones are expensive. Unless of course you went for the IWC Ingenua three two two seven like I've got. You can buy those bargain. I think absolute bargain. The Pam. Uh, I think a Pam would work, but I'd like to see you. I think a Pam would work, uh, but I, I'd really like to see you, I'd really like to see you get a, uh, I'd like to see you get something Pam is just so predictable. With pe people who have a collection like you, yours, they go for a Pam. You know, that's kind of. Well, I'd like to see you do something crazy. Like an IWC is cool. Uh, the reverse. Get a fucking reverse. Get the reverso. Get the reverso. The Pam. I'd kind of expect you to get a Pam. I mean, I love Pam. I'm stuck. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm seriously considering getting a Pam. But, you know, they're a bit, they're a bit passe, they're kind, you know, that's the only thing I could say there. I think in your collection, get a Reverso, man, it's just, it's just, it's just tugging at me. Get a Reverso, get a Reverso. If you don't get a Reverso, get a, get a, uh, a Master Control with a Moon Phase. Yeah, that'd be cool, man, that'd be cool. Outside the box, let's do something 
outside our sports comfort zone. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, yeah, that's what, I, that's what I'm thinking there. I'm just analyzing it here, trying to think what is the best way to go. And um, I really do think, in your case, Get a reverso. Can you can you can you get a Jaguar Cultra? Now, you could even get a a Jaguar Cultra Master Compressor if you wanted a sports. If you want to stay within sports? I reckon that'd be cooler than a Pam because I mean, <coughs> Pams are cool, but just make sure you buy the Jaguar Cultra on the used market because they tank like there's no tomorrow. They tank as bad as a Panerai, that's for sure. They're very soft, so you, you don't want to be buying that new. I love Jaguar Culture as a brand. I reckon a, if you can't do a Reverso, go for a Master Compressor. It's going to add a piece of horterology. You're stepping up there. Instead of with the, with the Pam, you're just going down. This is what the sheeple would do. I, I reckon, seriously, I really do think grab the... Um, Get a Jaguar culture. Just do it. Do it. Come on. Just do it for me. Give me a leap of faith. A leap of faith. I think you'll love it. I really do think you will love it. And the last after it. Last after it. I'm Paul Pluter. This is the Paul Pluter channel. Paid reviews. Tell me what you guys. Tell me what you guys think of that. Hey guys, my name is Paul Pluter. I'm the method actor who plays Archibald Chesterfield III, AC3. Guys, guys, I need a bit of help. I need a bit of help. I need a bit of help. It's very hard running a YouTube channel relying on Google Ads alone. I'm in a special niche and I speak my mind and I've, I don't have all those Seiko wannabes, all the people who want assurance about their affordable shitters. So I've got to really try hard to bring in the revenue. Guys, if you like my content, if you think I'm a great, great chap to have around, why don't you help me out? There's a number of ways you can help me out. This will keep me full time on YouTube. Look in the description of this video for some ways you can help me. You could sponsor me on Patreon. That allows you to send a small monthly amount to me every month. It can be a dollar, it can be a hundred dollars, whatever you can afford. The next way you can help me is, well guys, I, I really need some money to keep things going. Paid reviews. On the Paul Pluter channel, I run paid reviews. For as little as 20 US dollars, I'll give you an opinion of your collection, of what you're looking at, I'll try and answer. There's heaps of other ways you can help me. I do telephone consultancy. For 50 US dollars, I will talk to you on Skype or WhatsApp and answer your horological or personal problems. Any questions, I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. Now guys, please help us out. Look down below and if you, if you, if you could help us out, I will stay here and make videos full-time on YouTube.